this is not the traditional way that we um, begin these proceedings, but it seems to have been effective. So thank you. Good evening. I'm David Andelman, president of the Overseas Press Club, and tonight it's my bittersweet pleasure to welcome all of you to the 72nd annual OPC Awards Gala. Sweet because of the amazing winners that we'll name tonight in a record 25 categories in every known medium, including five new online awards. Bitter because of some individuals who won't be with us tonight. One of them is Norman Shore, who passed away two months ago. He launched our Freedom of the Press Committee and the tradition that opens our proceedings in just a moment, the lighting of a single candle commemorating all those journalists whose lives were taken from them in the past year in their pursuit of stories and images around the world. So, lighting it this year, I'd like to welcome here the brilliant Egyptian journalist and commentator, Mona El-Tahawi. Good evening, everyone. It's a great honor for me to be here tonight to honor our colleagues and our loved ones who were lost in 2010. When David first asked me if I would light the candle tonight, the first person who came to mind was my good friend, Mazin Dana, a Palestinian cameraman who I worked with in the Reuters Bureau in Jerusalem. I remembered the great dinners we would have in Hebron, a town that many of us don't associate with happiness, or with lazy, relaxed dinners on rooftops. But that's what Mazen created in his home for Palestinians, for Israelis, for Egyptians, for, for the British journalists in the Reuters Bureau in Jerusalem. Mazen was a true vision of the courage that it takes to be a journalist in such a difficult place like Israel-Palestine. And I cannot forget the day in August of 2003 when I was just scrolling through the internet and I saw the headline, Palestinian cameraman killed in Iraq. He was shot dead by US soldiers who thought, they said, that he was carrying an RPG that was in fact his television camera outside of Abu Ghraib. And I remember at the time when Mazen died, the only people I could think of to call and to share the terrible pain I was feeling was fellow journalists, because it's very difficult to explain to ordinary people, to you know, civilians, what it's like to lose a journalist friend because so many people are killed, especially today, as we follow these amazing revolutions in the Middle East and North Africa. So many people are paying with their price. But when a journalist dies, something in our heart just stops because journalists are not supposed to die in war or in revolutions because they're supposed to be our eyes and ears. And they've been joined by so many other brave eyes and ears who are citizen journalists, who are bloggers, and I'm so glad that the award ceremony this year honors online journalism. So in memory of Mazin and so many other brave men and women, I say to those that we've lost, I wish them peace. And I say to their friends and their families and their loved ones, I wish you courage and strength as you go on through your, throughout your lives without them. And to honor their memory, I think the best way to honor that memory is to salute those courageous people in the Middle East and North Africa right now, whether they are the freedom fighters, whether, whether they are the journalists who are showing how courageous those freedom fighters are, and to honor truth whatever, wherever it is, and to recognize that so many people, too many people, are killed in pursuit of that truth today. So it's a great honor for me to be lighting this candle today, and I thank you all for being here. <laughs> 